What we are looking at in this project is the structure of carcinomas or epithelial cancer. Epithelial cells are cells which are kind of spin cells. In order to understand these structures, we first have to understand how and when cell clusters form and under which conditions. The mammary gland is a very great model for that, as their healthy structure is that of so-called a sinus. A sinus is Latin for raspberry, and that is exactly what a mammary gland actually looks like. Cells cluster in a, in a circle and form a hollow lumen in the center, which is where the milk during lactation periods is actually produced. Um, if cells are cancerous, on the other hand, they will not be able to, to form these, these structures and they will continues to grow into all directions without limitations. So true. To be able to form any sort of structure, cells in all organisms need to communicate. And all these cells are therefore influenced by external factors as well as by other cells, just like as humans are constantly influenced by the environment and other people, making us go and drive into the directions and ways that we actually do. And cells are not so different in their communication. They use several types of signals and messages to communicate. The final goal of this research is therefore to better understand these communications by analysis of all signals involved in memory gland structure formation and hopefully to later on model them computationally, um, combining classic biology in the wet lab with mathematical and physical modeling on the computer. By the end of this research, we hope to be able to test our model against patient samples. If successful, this can within reasonable time even lead to a target for a possible drug. Mmm, very good. Very good. It is very good. You want one? Yeah, I'm good, thank you.